hello friends how's everybody doing this is your friend jeff playing um ultimate admiral age of sail for f and we're gonna get ready for fireworks somebody wanted me to do a like a tutor rule for fireworks or sail in and, and somebody's having trouble with this particular battle so i um, started a campaign on hard well i'll show you here on hard hard with adaptation so if you're playing on a different diff difficulty or whatever but I'm playing on the maximum difficulty and uh, you know I had to do a couple of battles over because of the type of ships that the enemy had and I had to make like a couple of fire ships to get beyond it and then uh, when I went into it um, I also you know found that the ships went down a level so I was like Gee, I went in with a fire ship, and then I didn't need it, and then, you know, it was just kind of weird. So anyways, I'll show you my fleet. I had to sell the uh, supply ship, <clears throat> the Este or whatever, because, you know, I just didn't have enough money, and and, and, and these are the ships that I have. So um, you can see I got the Woolworth there i got a ship repair kit the very first level uh, so we have the ferret we have the alert uh, same thing pretty much the bond here um uh, i captured this ship in the last battle that i did and uh, converted it and gave it that and that and then uh, mary over here um She's a seventh rate snow and with with the sh ship repair kit, I mean um it's gonna I'm gonna need it because like I said, uh, fireworks is a tough battle. Um and uh and the reason I sold the, the ship is because I had to buy this little tiny ship to make a fire ship because usually when you go into fireworks you might want to have your own. But you can see that these guys are rookies, so this one might not even be able to deliver the payload um it's just the way it is now to get to this point like i said career wise you know this is where i went and things of that nature and it's been a while since i played the game and stuff like that and so it took me quite a while to get to this point for fireworks and and like i said these are the smaller ships that i got like i don't have you know you can go in with five and and like I said, I just barely was able to make this. So um, I don't know if you wanted a tutor rule on how to get to this point. But like I said, uh, on hard, like I, maybe I should have played on easy or something to to do it. But like I said, if you're having trouble with fireworks, then play on the easiest uh, difficulty. But here is fireworks um, again. Um, I'm on hard hard and adaptation so you can uh, go easier on yourself but you're gonna lose the money and stuff so we just follow the orders I'll, I'll see how hard it is um, I'm assuming it's gonna be really hard but I don't know the person wanted like I said I, I've got this I, I've got many campaigns uh, that I've done over the years on, on, on this on my channel so I mean you could probably see multiple fireworks I mean I don't know whatever but okay so we're gonna go with the ferret that one uh, this and then that one and then I always put the fire ship I should put it first if I was gonna use it but I, I don't even know if I'll use it like I said you know the big ship that's here is a problem but here we are and he wanted to do with sailing, but like I said, um, I don't see this. And then we and we got this big boy back here. Yeah, he he can be a problem if you want to try to capture him. And I think if you do catch capture him, you get an extra battle in the campaign. But I mean, I do. You know, what I'm saying like um, we're gonna just see how this goes. Um, they want to do something on sailing, but I mean. What can you say about it? Like, I, I've got so many of these campaigns online. Um, usually what I do over here is, you know, I, you know, I usually want him to shoot, but probably shoot right there would have been better. Um, and then have him uh, 
come on over this way, I guess. He does have 264 on there, so I mean, it's not that bad. And like I said, let's take a look and see. Now, don't forget, this is on hard, hard with adaptation. So, but I'm coming in with all small ships, so I don't see, it shouldn't go too bad, you know, too bad. For, but anyways, okay, so. Oh, I got 200 here, so I could probably come over here to try to take this guy out. The wind is going this way, so we'll go fast on that one. Just point the ship. Now, he can be shooting at that ship. And I should have him go to full sail. And then my guy should be at full sail and repair the pair. And now I got a bunch here that are... So I got to figure out... Um, the strategy here because I don't need them all at the very moment but what I'm going to do is try to concentrate on this one and, and the way I play this now this sh these ships already hurt from that ship there but um, I'm going to send him over like this and we're going to point to him to shoot we'll put the can canister on and we'll come this way and we got to just come along here to see if we can get him. Because the sooner we can take some of these guys out, the easier this battle will be. And notice I'm only using my one ship uh, to concentrate on this while everybody else is still uh, doing stuff. And But that's the way this game is, is that you got to watch out for all the other stuff going on in the battles. It's a big battle. Like, he could, he could end up crashing into that one. But my goal here is to try to take him out as soon as possible. I don't have a boarding kit, I just have a repair kit. But I do have 200, and they are 2 star. 2 perks. Which I usually go morale and then speed on the ship. Um, so, if I can take him out right there, that there'll be one less that I have to worry about. And then I can concentrate on that other one while the other enemy is on their way to me. But... We're trying to maneuver to get them because the AI will always go... And usually the AI tries to go against the wind to get away. But this one's going with the wind, so it's just a matter of getting it just right. Now his ship is bigger than mine, but... You know, I do got numbers on him, so that's it. Now I need somebody else to get going like this one over here, so let's get him over here. Uh, this one here can can head over here and this this guy can stop and he can turn so but now these guys might collide a little bit but I gotta watch out for that oh yeah and then I gotta take this one I'm just gonna put minimum in for now and then he can come over here and harass that guy and then this ship here can just sail off as far as I'm concerned because he'll go to my harbor and then I'll decide if I keep him or not. So now this guy can come over here. Now, these are the fire ships that the game gives you. So technically, we could use one to take somebody out. This would probably be their only opportunity to do it. Because they only got 16 guys on here. They get shot once and they're going to lose. So you might want to, you know, try that. But uh, So yeah, so we can send these boys forward. at full speed because they 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 oh they don't default to that for some reason i don't know but okay so now what we're going to do like i said i i like the repair kit so i'm using the repair kit now I got, i'm going to go with the wind here and then these two ships are going to come over here and try to take him out and so while this is going on, he's he's going to head out because he's only got 30 guys on. I put the minimum on. Just look on the icons and you'll see that you can put the minimum on. And we got some we got some bigger boys coming, I believe. Um, so I would really need to pay attention to that. But again, you could have just kept all your ships over here and just go after these two. But you can't leave that guy totally by himself because if he goes down, you lose the battle, plain and simple. Now the ferret might have to, might have to come over here 
to take him out, which, you know, would be kind of not ideal. I'd rather have my other guy do it. But nonetheless, I mean... So then Bond can head over here, maybe. And we'll have the ferret come on in, and we'll see if we can take two. If, if we can, that's great. If not... Um... You know, it'll it'll hurt to lose this ship at the moment, but I but but you know, but, but it's a big battle, so we can get we can get it back if we need to. So, so an, uh, again, uh, up close, we're not going to do much structure damage with canister. We're trying to kill some of those guys, um, but my guys have a little bit of experience, so so I might tempt it and go for it. And I'm, but, I, but I might not have many guys left on this particular ship. And now I gotta pause the game for a moment. And you can always pause the game in here. And you can see I got these two ships, the fire ships right here. Now, let's see what we got here. Yeah, the, the, the rail is kinda pretty high up there. Um, and then this, this bad boy here is, is still on, a, on his way. But, you know, like I said, we have we have a couple of fire ships plus my own that we could try to take him out. Or we could try to capture him, which would be pretty hard to do, um, especially in a hard campaign. Um, so I would suggest if you're having troubles with this battle, and this guy's not bad. I mean, he just lost a mass, so he's got a good people I could have. I could, you could dump people off here, send them over here to try to get this guy. So let me see if I could. Yeah, I guess that's it. Of that's all. I, yeah, because we only come in. I only come in with five ships. That's right. Okay. So um, the the only problem I got here is that these guys are already on us, and uh, you know, and I'm trying to concentrate on taking this guy out. But but again, if I if I tell him to do that and then cut in, he might be able to do it. And then if I can get Bond over here and the alert, we might be able to capture this guy. But, but again, um, and then I might have to take people off of here to resupport my ships again by time the um, you know that big ship gets here but again I got my fire ship and I got these two and we don't really wanna like I said so I'll tell you another thing that I do sometimes in this battle I might take like a unit off one of my ships or off of here and you could put them on here to give them like 50 guys or something so that way they get shot they don't just give up because you know like this one shot they could end up giving up and, and what's the point like they like you know what i'm saying like i think in my own opinion i'm going to tell you that i think they should have at least give these guys like 50 guys on each of these ships that they shouldn't just put that on there that that's ridiculous but anyways you would never make a fire ship with just just 10 guys on it, would you? I mean, seriously. All right, well, anyways, let me uh, show you now. So again, this ship, I wouldn't think could take out this one. But again, uh, you know what I mean? I, my, the way my, everybody has a different style of playing, okay? Some people like to shoot it out, but I don't like to shoot it out because that sometimes takes too long, and by that time, you know, this guy is going to be on us. And once he's on us, he's got so much firepower that, you know what I mean, it, it's he, he'll blow your ships right up big time. So, but anyways, all right, so enough, enough said. Let's go ahead and get it going again. And uh, this guy's got to get going. Full speed, i got to repair. I'm going to repair. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these two ships... And we're going to try to close in on this guy right here. Because the other ship behind him only has a hundred guys on it. And so therefore I would think that it um, 
Now I'm going to have a problem going against the wind with this ship, so I'm going to have to peel off this way. So this one's going to have to come in, and, and he already hit my rigging. He's already hit my rigging. So you know I'm going to I'm going to take a chance, and uh, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to have this one come in. And he's going to do that also. And I'm going to try to get it in. He might not be able to. I think he hooked him. Oi. Let's see. All right, now this guy, I got to stop him because we got to try to uh, pull this guy in and, you know, we're kind of like jammed up here, so I don't know how this is actually going to go, but... Oh, and I got this one over here. Um, all right. All right, well, uh, gonna have to do that. That's all I can do. So then this one, no, I'm not gonna, so, okay, you. You gotta get over here. A bond over here, and then Rayo, you're gonna you're gonna end up getting out of here because the Aragonti's on us right now. So we gotta be prepared for that. And and then this is the 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 other problem that can happen is that okay. So this guy here, he's gonna go here and he's gonna go on long because just in case um, ferret. Ferret's got to get over here. Uh, we got a we got this wild guy over here that we have to watch out for. Um, we're gonna try. I'm gonna tell these guys. We're gonna just tell the fire ships to head out. Um, I I can uh, like I like I said I don't know how to do a tutorial rule like if what what you want like. But I'm just showing you this battle again, like I like I said, you can just see any of my other campaigns online. Uh, Rayo over here. So now that we got this, we gotta kind of break all these guys up, you know. Like we gotta get them away, cause you know, I tried to do two on one uh, because he was big, and now I guess the alert can come over here to get this guy. The Rayo can just get over here, go long. He can shoot. Now he might be coming over here to try to get this one. So now I gotta get him moving again. Okay. Well. Okay. You know what I mean. Like um, this probably ain't gonna happen, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot and see. And like I said, I might be able to do it with mine. And and if I do, this this battle will be pretty much over. Now, if you wanted to see me go after the that, if that's what you wanted to see. But like I said, I would be really shocked and surprised if if this if this guy will make contact. I mean, mine to me, mine will have a better chance because he could take a round or two. But one round from this to this one, he'll give up. Yeah, this would be ridiculous if I could do it with this one. We just like totally would luck out if that if this happened. 
I mean, this, this that's ridiculous. If I if I could. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's on fire. I can just get mine out of here then. Yeah, this this is ridiculous. Okay, so I, I've already I've already put him on fire. But if he comes into this Romulus, we'll lose. So we got to get the Romulus out of here. And look how much, and look at this ship Mary is already hurt. Yeah, I got to get him out of here because if, if he gets on fire, we lose. Plain and simple. So, okay, so, okay, now, this was just pure luck, okay? So, I, I, I'll even send this one down here to go after him now. I mean, and this is on hard with adaptation, right? And like I said, I know, I know if you, you surround this ship, and it would take quite a while, but you could wear them down and stuff. And like I said, we, we got 200 guys on here that I didn't even get a chance to get over here to get some of them off to, to do stuff. But he came on us because it took a little while for me to knock out these guys over here. So, anyways, um, but he's a goner. And, 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 and look, they still got their 10 guys on this ship. They didn't bail, so... But it's no point in me using my fire ship, so I can spare him for some other battle. And and poor Mary took a took good shot right here. And of course, uh, she can shoot and, and a tutor would be is, okay, so when you aim at a ship, and you can pause the game, like I did, and you can, you can target with that, and you can say, well, you know, shoot here, or you can go, you can shoot down here, or you can try to knock that out. But I, I, I have a hard time doing that, and especially against a guy like this, because this guy, when he opens up, um, it hurts. Or you could try to knock out there, but um, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, I just have to make sure that this ship keeps moving uh because we do not want it to get hurt and 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 so now um while that happens um and then like i said this guy is coming this way and 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 uh mary is gonna head out that way and he's gonna just head over head over here or maybe over there because i don't want that ship to end up touching it um stuff like that but anyways um I do have 146 on the alert. The alert must be repairing. So if you have one of these, you must always do that. Um, the Rayo is is a captured ship, and and the ferret is okay. But we can go to this, and the, and the ferret could possibly shoot that. Because sometimes the AI tries to go after a captured ship, and they follow it all the way to the edge. So now the alert must go this way, but look, I just, I just totally lucked out with that. But don't forget, you have two ally fire ships, and you have, and, and if you bring one yourself, I, I'm just saying yours has a better chance of hitting. But like I said, I, I, I can't believe it, but just to, just to make sure, like this guy's going to come this way. And and he and he he's trying to get away, because if this idiot touches us, we'll get on fire. So yeah, because watch if he's gonna open up on this. Watch what will happen if he gets to open up on it. Because if he does, this ship is gonna be gone, plain and simple. So yeah, I just got lucky on that. The way that went, I'm just telling you. I, I definitely got lucky on that, like the way it lined it up, just right. Now, I don't know if, if like I've always said, like when they're on fire like this, they should not be able to shoot. But, I, I, I you know, if, if I remember back in my, my days of playing this game, I think they can shoot. So, so but if, if it doesn't, 
then maybe they changed it. Like, I, I don't know if there's any changes made but to the game, but who knows? But as far as a tutorial, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't know how to make tutorials, like, because I don't edit my videos. It's just raw gameplay that I show. But, see now that's a lot of misses, but you want to target somewhere so he can try to hit it. Only got 24 guys on here, so it ain't going to be now. Okay, so now the Agante is sunk, so that one died. So, so that, that's the main part of the battle. So essentially, essentially, uh, you know, we got to save this ship and stuff like that. So this one, like I said, I, you know, it's kind of, I'm just trying to turn the, the, the alert so it can go after this ship. It's the only ship left. Everybody else is still up. Now, what I would suggest now that the, that ship is gone, just send these guys out. And, and, and on your ships, make sure you, you repair them. And like I said, we didn't even get to do much with him. Um, oh, Mary definitely needs to repair. And my, my fire ship, my fire ship can head this way because um, the longer the sailing goes, uh, you might get a perk. Just like this guy here, um, he's going to head out. He's got two stars. He could make a third star by just sailing out of here. And so these are the things that you would want to do in the battle. And this guy can now just anchor. And, and now it, we could technically uh, shoot this guy or do whatever. So, and you can see one of our ships, you can see one's already leaving. So yeah, so if you want, you, like I said, um, tutor rule, I, like I said, uh, you know, whatever. This is a ship. And I can repair it because I have a repair kit on it. I'm on canister at the moment. We could try grape shot. We could we could aim we could aim for that. We could aim for the sails. But but it's just okay. So this is one on one with a ship, right? So you can see the wind is southeast. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go to I'll go to grape shot. The other one was chain chain, uh, which is good for sales. A grape or or what I call canister would be for a close up. And you just gotta kinda get it just right. I mean Like I said I don't I don't have boarding kits but you know um, when you got the number over them and you got the perk over them and you're shooting them with canister which may kill a few of their guys um, you know it you're gonna get melee anyways so that's why I picked Stanima instead of melee What's the, you know I mean not Stanima but I mean I pick I pick morale because I want them to have good morale when they're going to do this. And like I said, it's just a matter of... It's just a matter of connecting the ships, lining them up. And we, we, we got it, you know. So and you, you can just see here how it's going. I'm not using any other ships. I mean, this is... And, and this is nice when it's like this because then it's, you can concentrate on one ship. You don't have to worry about what else is going on in the battle. Just put the minimum right there, that little button there. That way you only put on little guys and you keep on a whole bunch of guys. And that's and that's essentially the battle. I mean, seriously, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, th this is on hard hard with adaptation. I came in with all small ships, so they didn't have too many bad ones other than the uh, Aragonte, which is always uh, a third great ship. And you get an extra battle for taking that ship. 
But this this here it just lined up for me because if if it didn't, I will tell you um I would have to get guys off the uh the the ship, the the other ship. The Romulus put them back on the guys that I drained to take out all, all the other ships and then with the repair kits on the four ships that I would have other than the fire ship the fifth ship the fire ship and I would have to totally surround the Araganti and be constantly shooting them but try to stay out of range of their guns because uh, you know, one blast from them could could set one of our ships on fire and just blow up and stuff. And so that that's kind of a... And, and like I said, the way I play the campaign, and if you look at my prior campaigns, you know, um, I don't mind, uh, you know, taking them out with fire ships. I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm... Uh, because I, I don't... I don't, I don't want a third-rate ship right now anyway, because, like I said, the game... You know, especially with adaptation, the game scales up, and then I'll start facing a lot of third rates where I only have one, and it, it's it's still it's it's just it's just a never-ending uh, race. So so I'm not in a hurry to do that. So that's why. So you can see how how this is. I mean, I'm sorry that it was it didn't go longer. Um, the reason they have this here, like I said, um, there's a, I forget the name of the battle, but you get an extra battle when you take this ship. And then even if you don't have enough rep to get this ship, you could you could go a round of another, ba another battle battle, and then you could have enough rep to get this ship if you really want it. But there'll be plenty more on the way, so I mean, I don't really sense it like I, like I really need it and stuff. And so, yeah, um, I just got super lucky with the way the ally, like like I said, it, it shouldn't happen. And 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 again, I got a bunch of small ships, so I mean, it, it's it's not nothing. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you about it, but you could see what they had: five ships, you know. But they had the third-rate ships, so I mean, that that's a biggie. Uh, the goals units. Here they are right here. And the good news is I didn't have to use my little fire ship. Like I, that this th like I said, I've never got I've never like I'll tell you what. If you look at all my campaigns and you find this particular battle and you look at them, you see how I did them, right? I have never got as lucky as I just did did it right here, right now. So I mean that was just plain luck that the ally fire ship was in the right place to to, to actually because he was he was more concerned shooting at the romulus and my and my mary ship so um he was he was concentrated on that and he didn't even he didn't even like look at the uh, little fire ship that was approaching him so i mean that's the only reason that that connected i mean i'm, I'm telling you um but anyways, okay, so again, I'm I'm sorry if I'm not good at tutorials like um I but I, I but I sh I, sh I I just showed again how I do it and and this is on hard. I can I can show you the harbor and talk about some stuff like I guess. Um okay, so we we're, we're here, right? But we don't have to. We can go here and we can take a look at this and I only got 21,000. Um, I'll, I'll take the one rep. That'll give me 10. I can't do much with it. Uh, the next battle coming up, again, you would look at it. You know, you just take a look at it. You just need two ships, okay? But you can have five. And the idea is you just got to get this one ship. The ship's going to try to break out here. And, you know, you, you got to come in and get them. I don't think I've ever had a hard time doing that particular battle, even if you only had just two ships. You don't need to have the five. But a lot of times when I play the game, I like to have as many ships in the battle as possible because those ships that are in the battle, they're going to get some experience. So it's better to fill it up and do it 
But anyways, now here's fireworks. Wow, I never thought that ship could burn like that. Yeah, see, so, I mean, the reason this battle's called fireworks is because they give you two small fire ships, right? And you can bring in five. But I brought in a fire ship because usually those two fire ships get, bl get taken over or they get blown up or something. So, I mean, they usually never hit the target. It just happened that I just happened to luck out the way it went. I mean, I'm telling you, and, and, and even if you have to do this battle a few times, and then it depends on what your goal is in this battle. Like, do you want the Aragonte or do you just want to get rid of it? You know what I mean? Like, and so I, I showed you the way of just getting rid of it and it, and it happened really quick. So, you know, whatever, but okay. So that's that. We have these side missions to do, but we don't do those until after we do this one. So we don't we need five ships for this or just two. So again, that's that. Now career points. I can do I can do a lot of stuff here, but again, uh, if I can get the rewards up. Because when you're you're playing when you're playing on hard, you're down like whatever it is. So you wanna you if you wanna max this out so you get the most of the money as as you go. But you you can do whatever it is that you wanna do here. It's 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 all everybody has a different thing on how they wanna do that. And then you can go into luck if you wanna do the side missions and have a higher percentage. But okay, so now Let's take a look at what I got here, right? Um, and, 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 and yeah, and I, and I could have put it into ship repair, right? And I would save money on repairs. But with, the, uh, with these kits here, look it, I just have to spend one for that. I do have to spend here, uh, this one here did a lot in the battle, got per and I didn't spend enough, I was so busy in the battle and concentrating that I didn't uh, continually uh, do this. Plus the battle didn't last as long as it should have. And I, you know, would have had better. Uh, oh, and it's right here, the sail. I, I can't repair sail unless I get a sail kit. So that's what it is. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, if you look at the planking in the hull, it, we're okay. The sail, so, so they, they hit my sail. So that, that's the cost there, okay. And here, just a little bit of the, the planking. And you can see here, I'm gonna go with reserves and we're just gonna go like that. Because otherwise, I, you know, um, you have to have at least a minimum crew on your ship. And then 135. Yeah, so here's, here's a ship. So Mary. Yeah, Mary got hit by the Aragonte. So, I mean, uh, she did not have time in the battle to get that plank in. Luckily, she didn't lose any sail. But when that ship, that ship fired at... That's, that's why that ship got whacked by this, the fire ship. Because that ship was trying to take out my ship along with uh, the Romulus. So, um... Yeah, that, that was pretty, pretty, pretty cool the way it went down. Um, but anyways, let's repair that. And here's my fire ship. Um, and like and, I, and like I said, it's a rookie. Look at it. It's a rookie. It's a total rookie. Um, so that little bit of sailing gave it a little bit of experience. You can see that right here, like how, how it gained right there. And then we have these ships, and like I said, if I and and like I said, I had to and uh, and just to tell you, and I and I might have already said it at the beginning of the video where I had to sell these the uh, transport ship I had, just so that way I could buy this little ship, which was the ship cost, you know, like a little over six thousand, and then I had to spend like a hundred, uh, like a thousand something for uh, the the fire barrels. But, like I said, we still got it, so we can always put it into action. And so, maybe, like, I got 10 rep. 
So this is another another porcupine or whatever. Um, or, or the Rayo is... Uh, oh, it's Seberus Corvette. So yeah, I could think about maybe... Maybe add in one of these, seeing I don't have one. Because I already have... I already have one here. But this ship can have 500. So yeah. Maybe I will add that ship to my fleet. And so that means I'd sell these. So yeah, why don't I... Why don't I do that? And this was a brig in that battle. Check it out, they had a brig. Yeah, and check this out, right? It's gonna cost me nearly all of that to have that ship. So I only got one rep. Check it out. But, you know, I, I'll have this ship and this ship. This ship can have three officers. Now, hey, we got a lieutenant here. He must have got injured and now he's back. So where should I put that lieutenant? Hmm. Should I give that lieutenant to here? Yeah. All right, so this is me right here. You can see my name, Jeffrey Morris, and um, you can see I gave him the lieutenant. Um, I don't know if that's really great, but um, that's that. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Um, and I can look over here to see like what they got like for different names, like like Amos, you know. <laughs> So I go over here and call this one the the HMS A Amos, I think. Let me see if I got that right. A M I S, yeah. A M I S. Okay. All right. So now um got another lieutenant. And we got him, and we have him. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, good, I got a couple of lieutenants. Okay, so now what I, I could show you, um, just uh, continuing this video for a moment, um, what I technically could do is check here to see I could try I could try these Woolworth uh, guns so that costs 5,000 I could go with like at a minimum like I like I like to have the structure repair kit to start out with and um, that gets us to there, and then it's a matter of how many people can we put on this ship. Not enough weapons. Well, okay, we've got to find a weapon that we have. And actually, I don't have much. Um, yeah, well, we've got 179 of these. Not enough. Oh, because I'm going to 200. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we can buy plenty of these. Overlook. Yeah, I'm just looking to see 
what the ship okay so the the ship with the with the with the nine pounder or uh, Woolworth Woolwich or whatever um that particular gun with the repair kit we can have 217 guys on here so what I do sometimes if I have money right but then again I gotta look at the situation here like If I go optimal, like everybody, he is past optimal. Okay, so then it's a matter of can I, I gotta find somebody that I can really, or I gotta find somebody here Okay, like this guy can go to 180. So now if I drop him to 120, I have some uh, veterans up here. And now I can staff this one. Now, okay, so uh, as you can see here, he could get two perks, right, to do the 60. But... He's new. So if I can play around with this. And again, we might have to buy rifles for right now. Because the game, yeah, hasn't given me any yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to go ahead and just buy these. These, these are, these are what, what's available. And all I'm trying to say is... Um, All right, so if I go right about there. Oh, but that is going to take my money, though. Yeah, see, so, okay. All right, cancel that. Um, yeah, we're going to have to cancel that because, like I said, uh, I was just going to try to show you what you could do. But, again, like I said, because I don't need all this to go into the next battle. So therefore, you know, why am I going to waste all this money uh, to do that? So, okay. So, again, uh, and, and uh, we need an officer there. So, that guy is available. So, yeah. So, let's take a look at the ships one more time. Because if we if we go with rookies, right? Um, you know, we, we can. Um, but again, how I would judge all that is, like I said, uh, I, I'm not going to do a whole campaign. Like I just wanted to show you that, and I wanted to show you a little bit of the harbor, like the things, some of the things that you can do. You can actually, you know, like if you wanted to. You can take the guys off some of these ships if you're not going to use them. And you can put them on this ship here. And then you can put this ship in the battle. And stuff like that. You can, you can, do, you can do various things. Um, and don't forget, you can always go into the, the menu. And you can, you can save the game. Like I like to go like hard, hard, adaptation. And I'll just put an 8 now. And so you can see, um, also, if you look at this, you know, the game saves it at the start, and it saves it at the victory. So you can load the victory again if you, want, if, you, if you wanted to redo what I just did, and stuff like that. Because I saved the game here, but I could, I could load this, fireworks victory. So if I, if I, I don't want to save it, but if I load it, right? I load uh, fireworks victory and I load it it'll say you know unsaved yeah but I, I already saved up here um, so if I load it I just wanted to show you that, that um, 
And this is why, because you, you can go in the, in, the, in, the, in the options of the game, and you can actually um, not have the game save like that. But it, but I like I like that because you know if you ever want to go back, if you do a whole campaign, if you ever want to go back to a certain battle, you can go to the start of it, and that's right before you do that battle, and it's kind of cool. And so again, we can do all this all over again, but. I, I don't think I'm, I'm going to. I just wanted to show you that you could do that and stuff. But anyways, all right, folks. Well, I'm not going to do any more. I mean, unless people want me to do another whole campaign and stuff. But like I said, I'm not going to. I don't know if this helps the person who wrote that they wanted uh, help with this battle. And I don't know if what I just did will help you because I did get lucky with that fire ship that just lined up. But it's just a matter, it's just a matter on how you, how, what kind of ships you have and what difficulty you're on of how that battle is. And I mean, I, I don't know how, what, how else to help you. So, but anyways, no matter where you are in the world, hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. It's your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos and adios, of course, to the loveliest of the amigas.